guys, we got sleepy, lazy Patrick here. Oh, he is quite I? sleepy. So apparently it's up to us to carry the load of the work. Don't we do that anyway? We do. Yeah. Somebody, I'm really glad somebody hit that out of the park after I set it up like that. <laughs> Any other one-liners we want to throw, Patrick? Give us your best one-liner below. <laughs> and be cool. <laughs> Hashtag Rose Patrick. Okay. So <laughs> now that we've taken part of the uh, hard part for you, so what do you want to talk about now, Patrick? This here, NRW for April 25th, people. Hey! Early really? Wednesday. Woo! He's super worn out from Woo! all the work he does. So Hey, hey, the man's working hard to try to give everybody a good weekend. Yes. Yeah, man. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Uh, Universal Fan Con was supposed to be this weekend. We were going to have our hashtag Totally Awesome Asians panel there with a bunch of awesome superstars, specifically Greg Pak, because he inspired me to do that panel. A lot of awesome people. Shout out to Sumali, uh, Peter, Shinkota, Keith, uh, everybody. You're not offensive, by the way. I know, because I am. Jay Feng Lang, uh, Feng Li, Mallory Ada Yu. Um, but Greg Pop, he inspired this panel, but it's not going to happen. But, you know, uh, I don't want to talk bad about what went down because there's a lot of rumors. There's a lot of Google it. Window. You can see it. It's on Bleeding Cool. It's on The Hollywood Reporter. It's all over the place. But uh, myself and my friends over at the Nerds of Color, which we are a part of as well. New Release Wednesday is parts of the Nerds of Color. And Black Heroes Matter and uh, Be A Boss app and Carbon Fiber Media. Um, and the Blur Girl, we all banded together because there's a lot of people that are coming to town that can't get out of their flights because of this fiasco, and they're just stuck. And there's a lot of people that have content. Uh, they're, you know, the store, you know, basically their their life. Mm -hmm. You know, invested thousands of dollars, and they're just stuck, and they can't make it to any other show. So uh, me and my peoples, we got banded together, and in less than 24 hours, we put together a show. So we, uh, what Comic Con is going to happen this Saturday? We're doing a pop up show. Um, I got uh, All Star Comic Con involved as well as Blurred Con, my Cost Gala family, Third Eye Comics, uh, all the celebrities that were going to be there, like the magicians um, uh, from whatever channel that's on. Sci fi. Sci fi. Sci -fi. And Killjoys. Sci fi. Don't know. Yeah, sci fi as well. Uh, they're going to be there. So we banded together, everybody that were kind of stuck. Uh, we reached out to everybody. We kind of found out, you know, through the grapevine because nobody at FanCon is helping us. So it's a bunch of panelists that instead of being angry, we channeled it into something positive and we're making something happen. And I hope you come out and check it out. I'll be uh, doing a lot of cool things. New Release Wednesday has her stamp on all of it. It's cool that we had New Release Wednesday mentioned on Bleeding Cool and the Baltimore Sun. It's getting a lot of press and it's hopefully going to bring a lot of eyes on to what we're doing. Hopefully. Uh, we've got a lot of subscribers too that came out of it. So it's it's awesome and it's, I mean, it's cool. It's awesome because it's like just a oh, oh. Bunch of fans, a bunch of people passionate who are pulling together for the for the culture and for the community. Exactly. Right? So I, I thank y'all for tuning in and checking us out and supporting this event. Hope to see you guys there. Um, a lot of content is going to come from it, so I can't wait for y'all. And remember, out. we get Captain Save a Con here. Yep. So yeah. whenever there's a con that needs help, we, need to make we call a, Patrick. We need to we, we need to make you a costume for that now, Captain Save a Con. <laughs> I love it. You you just inspired not quite accurate cosplay. You, you, you realize that means you would be called Captain Sack, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, like I said, I just set him up and lay him out. Only, <laughs> only yes. my man Giano. Captain Sack. So I'm gonna move on from that, but I hope to see y'all there. You'll see a lot of our coverage coming out of that. But Giano's in the house, Brandy, not quite accurate cosplay, and my brother from another mother, Pain of Visions, Adam Martin, is in the house. And we're here, April 25th. It's Avengers Infinity War week, people. It is. No, it's I, not I, a war I, week. I want, and, <laughs> that was last week. It came on Friday, Friday and his. Glory will supersede any one mere mortal week. Kratos is a badass. Are you having fun with it? I'm having a blast. I gotta yeah. get a full review on the channel on that. From it, it's amazing. Are you almost through with it? Oh God, no. Take a <laughs> From what I've heard, it's like a 40-hour game. I'm probably only putting. Oh, you gotta put a whole week in to yeah. 40 well, hour it, week. this is also the first God of War that's kind of done an open world take. Like you can backtrack and go left and right, not just Ooh, go. Well, I've heard oh, they finally wow. fixed the fighting system. Well, I mean, if you don't like hack and slash beat 'em ups, now it's a much more methodical because um, you're an older Kratos that's not as fast. Dude, it makes me want to buy a PS4. I don't have one right now. Yeah. Sony, PS4, you yeah. want me to play it? You know, sponsors, I'll play it. <laughs> or I already played it. So, you know, we're good. So we got to get a review on that. That sounds dope. I know you didn't make, make it out to Super Troopers, but I can't wait to hear what you think. No. And, I, and I didn't do my homework. So you're not bad. You were supposed. You said you were going to go see Super Troopers too. I told you I was going to finally see mm. the first one. Okay. So, so I was about halfway have through the first homework one. To do. I had something happen. I had to put yeah, a... Then I'll play my cosmic failures on his cosmic failures. Okay. But we're going to make up for it. We promise you that. You'll see it on the channel. Y'all good? Everything been straight with you guys? Yep. Life yeah. is moving. World is going on. 
Found out that they will be at Tidewater Comic Con. Hope to we see will. y'all there. So you'll see the NRW family in the house there. We got a lot of stuff brewing Let with that. Let us know if you're going to be there. We'll meet yeah. up or something. Awesome. So we're going to make it quick because it's Infinity War week and I have some planning to do. Uh, what we have coming out on Blu-ray, DVD, Pretty digital sure Adam copy. Wants to go home as well. Yeah, yeah. he's no. got God of War to play, people. Hey yeah. guys, uh, for once, I have a kid I actively want to see. <laughs> wow. Hashtag. Get more tissues. Kids, <laughs> kids vid, kid, uh, games over kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, out of Blu-ray, DVD. I really enjoyed this movie when I when it was out in the theaters. Um, Den of Thieves, uh, epic crime thriller, uh, robbery crew plot to steal a small fortune. It stars uh, Gerard Butler, 300, uh, Pablo Schreiber, O'Shea Jackson, that's Ice Cube's son, uh, O'Shea Jackson Jr., and Curtis Jackson, a.k.a. 50 Cent. Um, Number two bitch-ass quarters. It was a dope movie. Mm -hmm. You know, there's this elite crime-busting police team against this elite crime force uh, made of former military guys, and they try to steal shit. There's a nice little twist there. If you haven't seen it, I strongly suggest checking it out. Did you check the trailers? I mean, I saw the trailer, and if I recall, I want to say this is the one that looked like the male version of Mad Money. Um, Because aren't they like... Oh, yeah, you did kind of say that. Yeah, because they're stealing it from like a... They're stealing retired money, essentially. Yeah. 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 I mean, it looks like a casual popcorn movie. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. I know there's a lot of fluff out there, but it was... I I enjoyed it. Uh, Next up, for those that have kids that don't want to play video games, uh, Paddington 2... Uh, sequel to the first original Paddington. Are really you saying enjoyed. I don't know what Paddington is, Patrick? Hey, I'm just saying. He's from the deep down darks of Africa. What you trying to say, Patrick? Do you like your mama lay, bro? He likes his mama lay. <laughs> that went sorry. Uh, I know. That, from zero to sixty. I, yeah, In exactly. Like Two point five. He's all about Holy that mama lay. You like you, 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 uh, who we have in this one? Oh. The follow up. Well, uh, you grants back. Uh, in time, Paddington's misadventures cause him to end up in jail. He goes to jail this time Wait, and plots his escape the with the help of a. Uh, in Paddington. Yeah, he's. Oh, he's, he's, that's not nice. That's right, because he's been away for. I'm sorry, for, but for a well, hey, I'm I'm just really mad. All of y'all missed that joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Ding. Ding. They got it. <laughs> So Paddington 2, people, uh, I meant to, my, we really enjoyed the first one as a family. We didn't get a chance to see Paddington 2 because, you know, your boy stays busy. So uh, Madison, you're going to, I'll cop it. We'll watch it at home. And there you go. Please tell me Madison doesn't watch this. No, she doesn't watch this. Okay, good. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> I'm telling the world that I'm going to take care of my child. So, And then when she, if she watches this later when she's older, yeah, much she'll be like, older. oh, that's what daddy said he's going to buy it for me. Yeah. And then he didn't. Well, don't worry. Don't worry. She, she gets his money. Yeah, she does. <laughs> um, y'all might like this because I know y'all are big into this. Uh, Digimon Adventure. Digimon. Digi. Digi. See, I'm brutalizing it. <laughs> okay. Must we do this again? <laughs> we did. we did have so... a, a previous episode yeah. where y'all corrected me and I'm, I'm tired. Did, okay, gotta, say it with me. Digimon. Digimon. Because you're boy. more Digimon than Pokemon. Because it's oh, yeah. digital. Did you, that's right. Now you should think yeah. about it in that vein. Yes, yeah, because they get digital uploaded. monsters instead of pocket monsters. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you're not digging. You're digi. The connection has finally I'm, been made, people. Yeah, this is actually oh, honestly, oh. I've never put that together until just now. If you now. want to go real deep, I knew pocket monsters, but I didn't. Don't. So if you want to go real deep, Pokemon are called pocket monsters, but they are kept in balls that are kept on your belt, never in your pocket. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we digital Digimon Adventure Try for Lost. Mimi and Palmon attempt to convince the world there are good Digimon after an infected Ogremon begins attacking Odaba, but are sadly unprepared for the unexpected consequences of their mission. So I don't know if this was based on a cartoon, if this is a it's, put together movie for this, or it, if it was already released. Digimon previously. has its own st- world. It, it, it has does. its own storylines, it really its own so. world. Basically, you're just hang on for the ride. Yeah, and like if you want links to some of the earlier movies, I don't know. And um, also, if you want your children to watch a cartoon with weaponized small monsters, this is that it. evolved. Yeah. Yeah. But and actually talk. Yes, rather than saying their name over and over and over again, and they <laughs> have the inter- ultimate form of narcissism. The, is Pokemon. Yeah, they have intellectual conversations with these digital monsters. Yep. Amazing. So it's about as intellectual as a seven-year-old will have. Yes. Yeah. It's out. If you want them to step away from the Pokemon Go, let them check out Digimon Adventure. 
Um, also out on Blu-ray DVD digital copy, Hostiles in 1892, a prejudiced army captain played by Christian Bale is forced to help transporting Native American chief Wes Studi and his family from Arizona to Montana, where the chief awaits execution. Along the way, a group of soldiers and Native Americans must learn to work together in order to make their way through dangerous territory. Rosamund Pike, Jesse Plemons, Adam Beach, Timothy Chalamet, Ben Foster, Jonathan Majors, and Koronka Kilcher co-star. Somehow Patrick gained threats during the reading of that. <laughs> Bale, because you know how Bale freaks out and just acts oh, like an yeah. ass sometimes, mm -hmm. you know? I don't like him though, man. I know everybody loves him as the Dark Knight in that series of Batman films, but he looks like, when I was in the military, I used to work under this guy who's the first class petty officer, and he was a straight dick, and this, Bale looks exactly like that guy. Okay. And so I can't see but that uh, asshole when I, I see Bale. I mean, have you not seen his Terminator meltdown? I'm pretty sure he is an asshole. I'm, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, my yeah. thing is, is like, he wasn't really my favorite Batman Really? So, yeah, I like I I like the storyline of the Dark Knight movies, but Bale was. Not... It wasn't the characters that made those movies. Yeah. Those movies carried themselves. The visuals. The vision. No, the story. The story, the story and the yeah. yeah, just the in the direction and the way it unfolded. Like you could have like put you know, Tweety and Sylvester in that movie, and it still would have been great because yeah. you're still telling that amazing story. Yeah. But and I mean, just, yeah. Christian Bale was not a good Batman. No. no. Yeah. No. And he wasn't okay, Bruce Wayne. Oh, hold on. Mm -hmm. From the peanut gallery. Peanut I disagree. Gallery. Marianne, I, off camera. <laughs> I actually thought Christian Bale did something that a lot of the other Batmans failed to do, and that was he was a good Batman and he was a good Bruce Wayne. With the other movies, you had, you know, the first Batman where he was an excellent Batman yeah. and okay Bruce Wayne. Then you had Vel Kilmer, who was a great Bruce Wayne and okay Batman. I think Christian Bale did a really good job of sort of merging the two. Love from Gianno with Marianne. <laughs> you see, you know, we'll get her on camera at one point. Yeah. She's shy. For so the, the, the me, with, with the portrayal of Batman in the, in the movies, it, it's very, very simple. You got to look at the universe that's being created around that time, and that's how you can tell whether it's a good character or not. Now, I, I got to fully agree. Um, Bale did a good job as both, but I'm not going to say he did a stellar job. He yeah. did a good job. It yeah, was, it was good. Like you don't really, you didn't go to see the Dark Knight movies, the Dark Knight trilogy. For Christian Bale as Batman, you went to see the world and the Batman that was in it. Yeah. yeah. Keaton, agreed. Damn good Batman. Keaton's always weird as any normal character, but yeah, behind the cowl, perfect. Loved it. Val Kilmer, agree. I've always said that. He made a great Bruce Wayne, shitty Batman. We don't talk about the other one. <laughs> Never happened. You know, and I do like Ben Affleck but as there Batman. There was nipples on the suit. Oh, I, yeah. I love that. I love, I, I'm actually loving yeah. Affleck. I love what Aff Affleck has brought to it as well because I think he's, but I also think he's done a very, very good Batman, a decent Bruce Wayne. I think Affleck plays the Frank Miller Batman yes. very well. well. I don't think there's another older, Batman he would portray. Yeah, no, an, he, older, he an older Batman. It's basically because every time we get a new Batman movie, it's always about you know when he's starting out or just introducing Joker or introducing some certain character. Um, it's never like some of the older stuff where you like saw the Robin suit in the case mm. and whatnot. It's I love Affleck as the older Batman, and it, it it and it shows that Bruce Wayne is a little more bitter as he's older. Well, I think I think what went wrong though for me is if you're going to show the Frank Miller Batman, you need to show the whole backstory of why he is at the point that he yeah. is, and certainly throwing him in with Superman versus Batman and then Justice League just really didn't do it any favors no. at all. Because let's be honest. For those people who have never read the comics or didn't know where that was coming from, we spent an ungodly amount of time as nerds explaining the whole backstory just to get them to put the light bulb on on why it doesn't make sense. Well, I mean, I'm sure all of us had a 30-minute theoretical conversation about what that damn Robin suit means before Minimum. the movie even came out. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Like, who is it? Is it Jason Todd? Is it Joe? Well, I don't know. Oh, my God. That Joker might be Jason Todd. Um, yeah. No. And... It's unfortunate that they just try to take all their ideas and cram them into one, and it's just there, too much, too little. There is one thing I do want to say about the Christian Bale um, Batmans, which actually has nothing to do with the Christian Bale. The one thing I appreciated the most was Alfred. Oh, I felt yes. no other movie gave us the importance of Alfred quite as much as that trilogy did so that we understood that he wasn't just the butler or anything, but he was the father. He was everything yeah, to he was this guy. He was a strategist as well. He helped plan it out. He helped figure it out. He was a sounding board. He was a mentor, a father, a brother. 
he was everything that was necessary, and that's how Alfred, Alfred's always been. And they didn't make him a little bitch. <laughs> no, they, they, Alfred was a complete and total badass. You gotta remember, Alfred is the only person on the entire planet that Batman is okay with wielding a gun. And, and you kind of get that vibe with Michael Caine as him. Because it's like, you know, you, you realize if somebody comes in, this Alfred's going to shoot somebody, and Bruce is going to go, yeah, all right. Well, hey, if Alfred shot him, I guess they deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred's the only one that gets passed. All right, guys, we totally got sidetracked. We always it do. Has. As, but that's yes. what, what our show is about. So uh, Christian Bale in Hostiles, have you, did you see the trailers on nope. that? Are you curious about that at all? No. Nope. Nice. It sounds like a direct DVD movie, not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to see it, but then I was like, I'll wait till DVD. So it's now on Blu-ray DVD. If you're like me, go to your Redbox. Hey, I can tell you, the last movie I Check watched, the randomly involved Native Americans, was great. Seen Bone Tomahawk? No. If you want to watch a Western horror movie, watch it. Okay. It's really good. Recommendation. Hope you don't mind seeing people from your man. in half. Ooh, yes. Totally makes What's the name of it again? I'm going to throw it on Bone the screen. Bone Tomahawk. Bone Tomahawk. There it is. You, you can check Kurt it out. Russell with his big bushy mustache. Oh, yeah. Like, so now you got some, some, some tombstone. Doing some weird shit. So. Well, he, just got his big, he just got his big, uh, not, um, hateful eight mustache. Some tombstone okay. style Kurt yeah. Russell. Yeah. I'm okay with this. Yeah. All right. If you don't want to see Hostiles, check out Bone Tomahawk. There you go. You got it. There it is. He's not that tired. All right. <laughs> Maze Runner, The Death Cure. I think this is the last in the Maze Runner series. Wasn't there like two other previous ones? It's like a trilogy. I, I, all I know is that some kid broke his leg and they got delayed for like two years. Yeah. You know what? I should have read more. It is the final installment <laughs> of this sci-fi young adult series. Thomas, played by Dylan O'Brien and his fellow gla gladers, attempt to free a captured ally named Minho, played by Ki Hong Lee. Uh, unfortunately, they soon learn their rescue mission will require them to infiltrate the last city. Terrifying maze, may blah, blah, blah. Bad, bad, uh, bad, 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 yeah, bad, 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 um, bad, bad, Some cool people in it, but uh, I don't know. Were, were you all checking it out? Were nope. you no. following the previous? The initial film looked kind of cool. They like are running it. Here's maze, how we feel about but it. But then they keep going with it. And <laughs> no Maze Runner. <laughs> yeah. It, it, and somehow we didn't break the statement. <laughs> I'm a professional. I know. But I don't know. It, it's it just kind of it, it, is it, it didn't grab you. Is it like another post-apocalyptic yeah type story? With and, and we've, a, we've already we've already got like stuff like exactly so much other stuff like that. If I want to watch some post-apocalyptic shit, I'll go watch. Dave we've Girl. seen Tron. Thank okay, you. just leave it be. We've seen Tron. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of this, and then it being a young adult type series is like, and that's okay. We're not young adults. Yeah. So, uh, also, so are you were adults. <laughs> we're adults? Oh, crud. Also out on Blu-ray DVD, we have an anime called Sailor Moon. An anime? I think that sounds familiar. I think everybody knows about Sailor Moon. Super S Part 1 is out on Blu-ray. Um, also, uh, Disney Zombies, uh, you know, in the vein of their high school musicals and their descendants, they came out with the Disney Zombies. That's out on DVD. And then, uh, because it's Infinity War week, uh, Marvel... Double digging into the plate again. We have steel book versions of all the original Marvel Cinematic films re-released. So, because everybody's all about them steel books, I don't. Are you one of those no. collectors? No. I want the steel book version. You know, what I'm about no. the digital copy. There you go. It takes up yeah. no space. Yep. Yeah. So double dipping, and everybody's like, "Oh no!" But when, when the internet goes down, you can't get your copies off the cloud. And I'm gonna have bigger problems than not being able to watch goddamn Avengers. Those are out on Blu-ray DVD, people. What is out in gaming, Giano? Right. Oh, God of War. Yeah, God of War's out. Um, then there's God of War. Um, Some more God of War. God damn it, I can't believe I forgot God of War. <laughs> God of War, people. Well, I know this whole section won't matter to Adam, so... And I'm not sure it's going to matter much to me either. So, uh, first one up is Max, the Curse of Brotherhood for the Nintendo Switch. First off, I have to ask to the general world, are you still licking your Switches? What? There was a trend when the Nintendo Switch came out where they put an advertisement out there where they basically said, warning, do not lick the Switch because people were doing that. Oh, no, that and was they the put games. on it. No, they were doing it to the Switch. Okay, but it was the game cartridge. That, it, was, it, no, was, no, it was actually the Switch itself because they put a bitterant on it. Yeah, but the, but, but that, that article started what? because, all right, so the game cartridge for the Switch is about that big. Okay. Yeah. And the Switch is designed for I your average gamer, 8 to 14 years old. Children. Yeah. Well, because of it being so small. So they're children not being, blowing on their Switch. No. They're licking their switch. They're licking, yeah. So because <laughs> unfortunately our generation, you know, well, I'm sorry, this next we generation used to blow is so on our Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, but it's, don't pump the no, I know, generation I know. that's doing that with the millennials because that's offensive. But mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So they, this small thing, apparently, kids were like, "Hey, 
Put it in my mouth. Why? Because why not? And so kids put shit in their mouth. So yes, especially uh, small things. Yeah. I don't know. So um, then Nintendo, as John pointed out, added a uh, deterrent to this, and it's the classic example of the old. Hey man, this smells like shit. <laughs> So now people have to taste it to see how bad it tastes. And now people are actually choking on it. I did not. It tastes so bad that it tastes so bad people are accidentally like, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> so don't lick your switch, people. Sure. Like they should make it taste like something savory, so you just want to hold it there. Not like freak out. No. No, so they put something in there so you know it gives you the clean of hey, smell like not chloroform? Hear this story. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. News yeah, to me. Yeah. But anyway, so this game, um It's a rehash puzzles. of a game that they're just putting on the Switch. Yeah, pretty much. It's again, it's been out for like I four years. I think that's what's with all the games coming it out is. there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because the next one is um, The Stick of Truth, South Park. Oh, yeah. It's 14. So that's better on your Xbox One. Why would you want the to play it on Truth? Switch? Yeah. Wow. They're, they're going back into the catalog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least Matt Stone and Trey Parker make more money. Sure. Yeah. And then we've also got a Darkest Dungeon Ancestral Edition for Nintendo Switch. Again, sounds like another rehash. So basically, Nintendo Switch has games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Xbox dropped their load last week. Well, I don't even think they dropped anything major last week. I don't think they could have. PlayStation God dropped their load with God of War. It's like, there's no point. This week, people was like, well, they're like, when, when God not of doing War anything. came out, all you saw over the different websites were how Microsoft's executive, this company, everybody's executive that wasn't Sony had to say, yes, you guys put out a goddamn masterpiece. Yeah. And yeah. they did the same thing with uh, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. And now they've got this, and both of them are just mecha giants hitting everybody this year. So, uh, which what you got? Hey, you know what, though? Nintendo did hit Horizon right where it hurts, because that was the same week that Breath of the Wild dropped. True. And that's why that game has been slightly undershadowed. Yes, oh, undershadowed. you know what else dropped last week when I, we were shooting at the other store? I think was Nintendo's big push, but you're timing it with God of War. That whole that cardboard thing. Nintendo. What do you guys think about that? Because you guys weren't on that show. I what do you think about the cardboard? Uh, so the Nintendo Labro, um, it's essentially, it's a game, and then it comes with... Uh, it's look, cardboard. Yeah, it looks to be about a metric ton of uh, uh, constructible cardboard apparatuses. Mm -hmm. So one of them is you can make a, a dirt bike handle set. So then all of a sudden, it's like riding a dirt, driving a dirt bike, and you can do a little racing game on there. Uh, they got one where you build a house, and then it's got different switches and levers all inside of it, and you have to solve puzzles inside of a house. So it's essentially they find a way for you to take a switch and put it into your my first building experiment and make it interactive. Expensive ass cardboard. Okay. <laughs> all, all I'm waiting for right now is the next Dragon Age game to come out, and I'll be a happy clam. See, see, th th this cardboard game sounds like about as great of an idea as Intelligence Cube was. Um, essentially, what it's trying to be is a game to teach children that, yes, they are video games, but we can teach you something at the same time and give them function, like, do something hands-on. So, I, I can see this being Would you great... recommend it to me as a, who has a 10-year-old daughter? I mean, I would recommend it to somebody like you. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm bump. But no, I mean, uh, it's cool. Do you think? I think it would be a great classroom video game. I don't think yeah. it's a video game that like kids are going to want to sit down at home play and play at home. home. Yeah. But like, it's going to work at home. Like it's an acti it's an activity. It's a learning activity. It's something where you're going to have to encourage them. Like I mean, like I, the with the switch and the or not the switch the Wii and all those other ones. The concept, of the novelty is great. Yeah, I don't go home on my couch to jump around. Yeah, I go. I sit down to play my video. Games. Do you think my so I'm not playing it, but do you think it's something the kid would like? My daughter would just play. I it could see, but I, I could see play it initially, but then like, I'm done. Get with bored of yeah. it real fast. Yeah, yeah unless they keep doing board. expansion, but also the fact that it does require this cardboard that's more to buy. Yeah, yeah. and I'm sure it's not cheap cardboard. Probably not expensive cardboard, like you have saying. Yeah, you know, it's triple so, corrugated. So uh, no, <laughs> gaming. Right. Uh, we're done with that, gaming. That's done with gaming. We're gonna go to movies. So now we're getting out the house. We're not gonna watch those movies. Although Den of Thieves, I do recommend Den of Thieves. Yeah. I'm not gonna play those games. All right. But so we're gonna talk about the movies that don't matter this weekend. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, but let, let's move really here. we're gonna get to that. So we got uh, yep. disobedience. What? It's a drama. I don't know. A woman returns to the community that shunned her at, at her uh, for her attraction to, to a childhood friend. Once back, their passions reignite as they explore the boundaries of faith and sexuality. <sighs> It's got Rachel oh. McAdams, Rachel Weiss, um, Alessandro Novello, and Anton Lesser. I, I yeah. think I think that one is about the uh, Orthodox Jewish community. It's, uh, if it, it looked like from the trailer, like it was about from the from the name of it, it sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's I think they're Orthodox Jewish women, and you know they're gay, ah. which is probably a problem. Uh, yes. So, so Patrick, I would like to let you know that you pull some really bad descriptors. 
Hey, IMDb, man. What can I tell you? Because <laughs> what was the other movie the other week that you had like the worst script in the world for? Where it was actually a really good movie. It, it, it all came from IMDb. Remember, but, yeah. You got to blame Jack Rovey, I think, is the guy that writes them all for well, the fuck IMDb. Well, fucking. Mm. Uh, actually, no, he's the one that writes it for Best Buy. Gently. With mm. a chainsaw. Okay. So, next one up is uh, Let the Sun Shine In. Never heard of it. Uh, it's a com. It's a rom com. It looks like. Um, let's see. Um, Isabel, Perusian artist, or yeah, Perusian artist, divorced mother is looking for love, true love at last. Yeah, this this is a really shit description. I don't blame you. I blame whoever wrote it. Yeah. Uh, but Cl uh, Claire Dennis, or is the director, stars Juliette uh, Binoche, uh, Xavier. Uh, I'm not gonna pronounce that. It's French. <laughs> um, nobody I've ever heard of personally in anything. So I'm sorry, but uh, and then Kings, which is a crime romance drama thriller, life of a foster family in South Central Los Angeles. A uh, few weeks before the city erupts in violence, follows the verdict of the Rodney King trial. Oh, yeah. so we've got Halle Berry, Daniel Craig, Lamar Johnson. Oh, I've uh, heard Ron about Walker. this film. Yeah. Oh, so of course, you know what Hollywood, one of the Hollywood's other panaches, other than ripping everything from nerddom and trying to make it mainstream, is taking every terrible thing that's ever happened in the last 400 years and glorifying it. Mm, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's about right. Hollywood. But uh, that sounds interesting. I, that yeah, but Infinity War is gonna cap. No, so, if that, you can't get tickets in Infinity War, that's really what it is. Yeah. So the, the only other movie Infinity is War. Infinity War. Let's be honest, that's really the only movie that's. I feel bad for every movie that's coming out this weekend because you might get a little bit here and there, but you're not getting much. Like you're screwed. I'm sorry. Yeah, seriously. Like you, you you're done. You better have every theater in your theater playing that film. Yeah, because if you want, as terrible as it is, uh, every theater out there, if you want money this weekend, you might as well just cancel all the other films. Go, all right, Infinity War, every freaking theater, go. And you will have a packed house all weekend, guaranteed. Oh, and Black Panther, because that's still selling like hotcakes. Oh, and Black Panther's still going. Yeah, that's so right. So basically, Marvel's going to wreck Take over your film. And, um, Take over your theater. Yeah, just... just Marvel, Marvel Theater Takeover. Marvel Weekend. Much. So how you know what? They probably make more money if they were just to rerun the old MCU movies. Oh, throughout the yeah, yeah. just random thing. You know, all we're showing this weekend is all MCU. Yeah. If you did that, that'd be amazing. That but would be kind of no dope. Money. Unless they like, okay, pay like fifty bucks, watch every film, and then Infinity War at the end, and it's like, okay, get comfortable because you're gonna be there for like a day and a half. And no I mean, bathroom they, breaks. They, they've done that. They've actually done <laughs> Iron Man Challenge. Well, yeah. no, they've actually done that with. Um, I think it was like some of the Harry Potter films. Well, no, I know. I, I, I know they did do a thirty. I think it was a thirty-two hour marathon or something like that. Yeah, they, they, and they would give like good intermissions where you can get food, bathroom breaks, everything like that. Because if they don't, then you just got to find those movies that you've seen too much and just take a nap during that, like or the movies that not many people really like, like Iron Man three. Just, just that's a good bathroom break movie. I, I enjoyed it personally. I thought the the script was decent, other than yeah. the stupid twists. Yeah. But other than that, you know, I, yeah, just, it, that would hurt your, my soul. That's your that's your nap. Just that would hurt my you know, soul. Go on a date so don't time. forget Thor two. You can sleep during that one too. I like Thor two. Thor two was actually. <laughs> I, I think they fucked um, Malky though, but I did. Like I think they fucked up that movie. Yeah, a little bit. So now but, that it is Infinity War week, we we've kind of made our predictions here and there. How does it feel? That we're now at this point with the Marvel MCU, at this point, it's here. It, to me, it's kind of like shook, snuck up on me. I know I've, I've been busy, I'm tired and everything like that. But it's kind of weird that we're here. It, my, I, how I feel personally, like, oh my God, we're here. It's mm -hmm. been 10 years. This is it. And, you know, and now we're going to get the next phase of the Marvel Universe. But this is the ending of phase one, you know? No, this is the ending it's, of phase Do you have, like, three. that weird feeling? It is it is a weird culmination, especially yeah. when, you know... I remember, what was it, 12, 13 years ago when Blade came out, mm. you know, and, and the Spider-Man movies and X-Men and all those, and they, they first started hitting with these movies, and all you could think about, the moment they hit the, the silver screen was, you know, okay, here's this, what's going to be next? Here's this, what's going to be next? And then when they finally went, okay, well, here's all this, now we're going to start combining it, you know, you, you at least for me, at first I was like, okay, so they're going to uh, start combining it, that's what, what end? What's the end game of it? And now... We're at the fucking end game, and I'm just wondering, you know, where did my age go? Yeah. No, for me, it's just, it's like, just this whole big thing of everything's just building up, building up, building up. And, like, it's obviously still not done, in my opinion, because there's still so much happening after this. Yeah. But this is, like, one of the pinnacles. Like, it's mountain climbing. Yeah. You could be going all over the Rocky Mountains. You'll go up. You have to go back down for a little bit and then come yeah. back up. So it's like they're they're gonna they're gonna keep building shit and it's just gonna like this is like super weird top. surreal it's, feeling yeah huh? it's like super surreal I'm like at the top looking down going 
Let's jump. <laughs> well, and and this is the pinnacle. You know, th this is the pinnacle. This is basically everything that Marvel's been building up towards with all the studios, with everything. And this is the 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 to finally answer the question of can we do it? Yeah. And you know, it's either going to be you know just just to use a good analogy, either they're going to soar freely or it's going to be Icarus. We'll have to see. Mm, All right. Ridiculous. Before we leave out, what is the biggest thing you're looking forward to in the Infinity War before we get out of here? Uh, hopefully seeing it before anybody says anything. That's right. No, spoilers. There's yeah, I'm serious. Thanos demands your silence. I love that. Did you see how they came out with yeah. that? No. They, oh, yeah. Well, it was just quick. It didn't spoil anything. But basically, Marvel... You mean Thanos is in this movie? Goddamn oh. spoiler alert! <laughs> you know Thanos yeah, is but... coming, bitch. <laughs> But the, <laughs> Marvel put out a great little piece with their actors. Thanos demands your silence. And yeah, so, from the please, everybody, people, like, yeah. hey, look, we know everybody wants to know everything going on in this movie. We've put this movie under so much secrecy, so under wraps. Every actor's had fake scripts. They've they've uh, done fake scenes. Nobody knows the full story until today because mm -hmm. they did the first showing today. Yeah. Um. So basically, they're they're begging people, like, look, for once, let this just be. Don't spoil it. Let everybody be don't, surprised. Don't just, try and be the social media giant I will have to that hurt somebody. spoils everything because then you're just going to get all the hate. You won't be a giant. Yeah. You won't get the hate. Seriously, I personally, before this week, I was planning to be off of it. Mm -hmm. But now I'm fucking planning a convention. Yeah. Don't get to it. So I'm happy that I'm doing it. I'm trying to support my community. But I didn't want to be online yep. because I wanted to avoid stuff because I knew it was going to happen. Hey, remember. You're but Captain now Sack. I've got to promote. You're Captain Sack. I'm Sack. Captain Sack. You're not, Captain Captain you're not Sad Sack. You're Captain Sack. Yep. <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> no, you don't. And I'm going to make that costume for you I, now. Yeah. Hey, Captain Sack, don't forget the D, though. Ah. I will not forget ah. the D. We'll talk about the D later. You'll see it right after this piece. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was going to try and avoid it, but please, don't spoil it for me. Don't spoil it for everybody else. Don't yeah, do that. Yeah, just, it's not just cool. Keep it pure for Patrick, please. It's like, look, we're, we're all... We're, if you've followed the MCU this long, I will say that you are a first-stage nerd, no matter what. If you have followed it, if you've stayed after the credits, you follow the story, if you are excited for Infinity War the, for the right reasons, and not just because, oh, it's another movie with Robert Downey Jr. in it, let's go watch it, then respect the nerddom. Respect, respect the comics, because even then, you know... They put out comic previews constantly, but even for the big ones, like example, Doomsday Clock. We know nothing. We know absolutely nothing, and they're not going to tell us shit because they want the story to play out the way it should. So just let the story. Well, actually, no, that story. story they want for it to get so old mm -hmm. that we all forget about it, and then they'll finish it. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to the the, the it's, it's what twelve yeah issue comic, and it's going to take a year to tell it anyway. But they've already bumped it to bi monthly. Well, that's news to me. Yeah. Learning stuff, but regardless, <laughs> though. Still, though, even with Doomsday Clock, you have an idea of what's going to happen. You know that at some point, because it's already been said, you're going to find Superman versus Dr. Manhattan at some point. Just like we know Thanos is going to fuck people up. We don't know what. We don't know who. We don't know the end result. So just leave it that way. Let people be surprised. Give it a month. A month after the movie comes out, say whatever the fuck you want. Because if anybody hasn't seen it in that month, fuck them. They weren't dedicated. All right. Before we sign off, we're going to tell you how, how to find us. Please don't spoil this in the comments. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. But we'll be back. You. But we'll be back in a week from now when we're back here, and we're gonna spoil it because we're gonna be giving our review. What, of we're back here in a week? week? No, the week after next week. I was gonna say. Yeah. yeah. Then we're gonna talk about it. Yeah. So y'all bitches better see it by the by the time oh, I'm fuck back yeah. here. Again. Uh, I, I'm seeing it late, so but I'm seeing it. You're gonna have a chance to see it. Yeah, I'll be by the time I'm here again, I'll, I'll be seeing it the Monday uh, after it comes out. All right, guys. So we'll be seeing it Saturday. If you want to follow whether or not we've been spoiled and hear us bitching, because we will be bitching if somebody spoils it for us, let's tell them how they can follow us on Twitter. I'll start with not quite accurate cosplay. Actually, don't find me on social media, because if you ruin it, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. You can find us at not quite accurate cosplay on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I am Wordbox with two X's. And Jano is bizarre, bizarre. I'm going to start posting pictures of every weapon that I own. So if you spoil it, you're going to know which punishment you're getting. And That's I have for you. Weapons. He does. It's for you to figure out which ones are foam or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so no spoilers, but follow us. That'd be awesome. Stuff. Stuff. Please don't go to Pain and Vision Comics Cards and Gabe's at what at street address? Well, do come to Pain and Vision Comics Cards and Gabe's at 305, <laughs> but I will... Perform mild acts of violence if you've spoiled them. At 365 Delancey Boulevard. Or, oh my God, did you? Oh no, no, slapped. this is what I want to say. This is what we need to say about what Visions. After you watch this movie, you love it, and you want to see the source material, which is what every Marvel Comics movie should do at the end of their fucking movie, or even before it, 
Go buy the comic books. Show love to the to the place where it came from. Go to the comic shop. Tell them where they should could, should come to. Hashtag Adam needs money. There you go. That too. Hashtag source that. material. Thirty three zero six five Galanski Boulevard, Woodbridge, Virginia two two one nine two, and we are right down the street from from the Mills Movie Theater. So if you're catching yeah. the movie there, come see us here. And right next to El Paso, where you can get good tacos and burritos. Indeed. Uh, plug, plug. <laughs> hey man, shameless plug. Those are delicious. So he's have, he has Infinity Gauntlet in this. So he has Infinity War. He has them all. He has all the titles. Check it out. But buy the source material, people. Because seriously, don't you think that's uh, it upsets me that they have yet to like play ads for retailers in front of these well, films? I, I wouldn't necessarily say retailers, but like just give the source material and then be like. Get your local comic shop yep. for well, that. And, and we could we could bitch for an hour straight about how the difference between the the, the, the comic source and what was what's canon, what's not canon, versus the movie verse, versus the TV verse, versus the animated verse, versus the video games. We could go for a while about oh it, but my yes, God. That's I definitely a cool show on its own. if you want to know why we're at this pinnacle. <laughs> but I can say, as John just pointed out, there has been no precedent to mention the other medium when you're doing one medium. I'm just saying. Because show yeah, love. Yeah. That's what I'm about. Hey, but Disney I can tell you, money. inside the books, though, there's fucking ads for that movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. You know? Because the books are bread and butter. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. I like to show love. Please show love to these people here. I love y'all. Not quite accurate. Cosplay, Pain and Visions, Comics, Cards, Games. My boy, Adam. I'm Patrick. You can follow me at patrickstrange.com. Uh, that's, no, that's the website. To follow me is at since 1977, at Temple Far East. Um, the show is at New Release Wednesday and at the NRW. And this weekend, if you're available, come, please help us save the day. Um, help these uh, fans and uh, cosplayers and artists and vendors that were stranded in Baltimore. Help show them love. Come together. Hashtag con together. Hashtag save the day. What we will Comic Con. Hashtag Captain Sack. I, I like how he's I am, doing the, the hashtag. I am. <laughs> he's doing the hashtag. Hashtag. <laughs> we're out of here, people. <laughs>